Hey Whiskers, I'm Kimani Hall and welcome to Hall in This Together. Um, we're the same as Golden Miss J.A. if you're a returning um, subscriber who has not been here for a while. Okay, so today I'll be showing you guys how I made this beautiful rose gold, gold and white Bel Air liquor bottle cake. Now this is the second one that's on my page. However, this one was specifically made for long journey um, and to make it through the distance. You know, cakes are fragile and, you know, try to make it safe so that the customer would have her cake at her party. Um, so this is what the cake looks like. If you want to see how I made this and how you can replicate this, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I did a three layer cake for this. Um, the top and the bottom was cookies and cream and the middle layer was Bailey's chocolate, sorry, Bailey's cheesecake. Um, I did some chocolate decorations, I guess, using a mold. Um, I just melted some candy melts, added it to my mold, allowed it to set. When it was set, I just dusted it with some edible lustre dust. No, my cake was crumb coated and chilled um, and I'm just adding my final layer. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you like the content that's on my page. No pressure. Um, but if you do like my content, I would love to see you coming back every week or whenever I post. Um, so this is me just adding a very thick layer because most of it is going to come off when I'm smoothing it anyways um so that's me smoothing it if you know the cake process then you can just skip a few seconds ahead um yeah after smoothing it um i realized that there were some gaps so i just filled it out doing the process again um i actually added it to the fridge before i started like removing the top part i realized that i get a like a cleaner edge when i do that Okay, so now that my cake is smooth, I actually added it back to the fridge. This is like my third time in the fridge. Um, and that's me touching it to make sure it was like rock solid and showing you that the frosting is, you know, set. Now this right here is the bottle holder that was made. I didn't make it, Ali did. Um, but he knew the vision and so he made it specific for that. So let me just explain real quick how this works. Um, so the bottom and the top weren't wrapped, but I did get it wrapped afterwards. Well, the bottom part because I realized that, you know, it was touching the cake. The top was just touching the bottle, so it really wasn't that serious. Um, so let me explain the design. Okay, so um, I made sure that he made it at a slope. Um, so, well, kind of like at an angle so that the bottle would like rest in it properly. There is that like a... Uh, bridge at the bottom going around it that basically just stops it from it's like sitting on the cake if that makes sense so the bottom part that i'm holding goes in the cake and then the top part there sits on top of the cake the back part is just for stability so that when the that's the slant that i was explaining when the bottle leans back there's support at the back um the bottom is completely flat so that my dolls have something to rest on um that's pretty much it I wanted to make sure that I had something that was big enough to hold in the in the um, in the the slot that I'm about to cut out and that it was I was able to take out the bottle and leave the holder in there so that the customer could add the bottle when they got to the destination so that you know it didn't get crushed or the bottle didn't get broken in transit that was one and two I made sure that the front part right there was uh, lower than um, the back so that you could actually see the Bellier logo writing thing at the front. I think that's just about it for the design. Okay, so now I'm just putting my, um, my bottle holder on top of the cake to decide where I want it. And I basically just like tampering with it for it to leave an outline at the base for me to have something to outline how I'm going to cut um, if that makes sense and I'm just removing it putting it one side I don't need it right now 
and as you can see like I'm cutting at an angle because as I explained the thing has an angle so the line um, the knife is diagonal at the back and at the front as you can see um, but on the sides I come straight up so it's like perpendicular to the base of the cake so it's straight on the sides um, but diagonal at the back and the front and they're both leaning to one direction so that the cup holder sits in place if you get what I'm saying if I cut straight down like um, like a normal cylinder then the cake would the, the cup holder would need some frosting or something to sit in there and I wanted to make it as snug as I possibly could so that there would be no vibration or movement and I'm just using a spoon to scoop up all my cake that I cut out and of course my family ate that because I'm gluten intolerant and I couldn't <laughs> um, so that's just me putting it back in there making sure that my cut is good and it sits snug in my hole that I made and it did and so that's that so now I'm just adding my drip I just melted some more of that candy melt mixture that I added for the the chocolate that I showed in the beginning now because my cake was so cold from like two days in the fridge um, it wasn't that long <laughs> but my chocolate was setting up the minute I added it to the cake and so I had to had to add some like extra long drips if that makes sense so now I'm just painting with um, some gold luster dust mixed with I think I was using um, almond almond extract so sometimes I mix between almond extract and vodka um, so sometimes it's hard to keep track no that's me removing that because I remembered that I did not add my dolls and as you could see from the bottom of that you're no longer seeing the cardboard because I had it covered um, that right there I'm just showing you that my doll has like a point so that it pierces through my cake board and I just used my cake um, my paintbrush to mark where the cake um, stopped on the doll so that I could get it cut you know exact and then I just measured a few other sticks, um, the rods to get it at that height. That really long one is going to go at the back, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I'm just adding the short ones to the inside of the cake where the bottle holder will sit on. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you're enjoying my content thus far. This is the long one. So this one goes at the back. Um, remember where that... like. Um, wing thing is at the back of the holder that right here yeah so when the bottle leans back it's going to add pressure to the back like weight so you have to have a dowel there as well that one is very important so it doesn't tilt backwards and there's no support and it crushes your cake from the back um, that's that so that's what that really long one was because I had to take into consideration the height of the frosting and the hole that I made if that makes sense um, now I'm just decorating so I'm adding this rope like border and I'm adding some frosting very close to the holder for it to set and hold in place when I put it in the fridge so that this also um, limits the vibration this is the chocolate that I showed in the beginning and I just the small ones I kept as is the bigger ones I cut in like threes and twos these are my socials if you aren't following me on instagram you can find me the links will also be in the description box down below so that's me just randomly assorting them um, as you saw like they had different brush designs so some had two colors some had one some had all three being the gold the rose gold and the white and i just kind of cut some in some random diagonal slobs some were the same as the small ones and um, some were in half some were in thirds some were really long some weren't I actually added some chocolate at the front base at the side right there i didn't show that i don't know why now i'm adding some gold rod sprinkles these are all edible guys the only thing on this cake that isn't edible is a car cardboard um bottle holder and the cake board and the rods the 
the dull rods that I added. This is edible foil. That's also edible, as I said, edible foil. Um, and I'm just adding those because she wanted it to be really cold and really in your face. And I think I achieved that much. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding in, adding some finishing touch. If you haven't already, oh my gosh, I reminded you like three times. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, oh my gosh. I know you're enjoying the video. So <laughs> I decided to add a few, um, they're like pink metallic rods. They weren't rose gold, which was irritating me, but I wanted an extra pop of color. And so I added those and yeah, I believe that was it. I added a, a gold ribbon at the bottom, but that was the last thing I did and the customer came, so I didn't film that part. That's the ribbon right there. That's the finished product. If you like my video, then let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you next week. Until next time, stay golden.